So up next is uh, Jennifer Bangora. She is the Director of Career Innovation at Nexford University and a consultant for the Future of Learning Fund. Jennifer will demo how you can use the aggregator Feedly to transform your newsfeed for the better. My name is Jennifer Bangura, like you said. Like David said. And I think I might be Feedly's biggest fan. So Feedly is a news aggregator, and I think you can just put it in the chat. You can check it out while we're going. It's Feedly.com. And if you, like me, tend to have about 45 tabs open at a time uh, from different blogs that you follow, different news sites, um, Feedly has been so helpful for me to curate lots of different insights in one place. And why I get so excited about it for nonprofits and for job seekers I think there's applications for everyone um, are three reasons. So first are relationships. And you know, the title of this session was from speed reader to thought leader. And the reason why I think it's important to use sites like Feedly and to continue to inform ourselves about different things that are happening in our areas of interest or expertise or where we want to grow um, are to build relationships, to build and strengthen our relevance, and then also to get recommendations or ideas. Um, and Feedly helps you do all three of those things. I will go ahead and share my screen and you go share a screen here. And you can see I have my Feedly open in a moment. You'll see. I have a Feedly open. And, and I'm just gonna wait until I can tell that you can see it. Great. There it is. So you, it uh you fill your site the way you want it to look. So I'm happy to receive this can be an interactive session if people are willing to um, be interactive. Uh, if you have a blog that you follow that is in your area of expertise, um, and I can add that as we go, or I have ideas myself. So on the left-hand side, you can see these different folders. You, know, you can add design, education, you know, whatever it is that interests you. Think about the three to five key words or areas that your nonprofit focuses on or that you want to build your own thought leadership in. Was it David uses it as well. So here I have a TechSoup demo and I went ahead and added some different areas, but you can see that they have featured areas in tech, cybersecurity, marketing, business. And here on the follow website, I'm going to go to that and I've already clicked into it. And I can go ahead and say, I know a blog that I really love to follow. I'll go ahead and I'll hit enter and I can follow it here and I will add it to my TechSoup demo folder. And then what's great is that it aggregates all of these different blogs that have a similar theme together in one space. And so then instead of having those 45 different tabs open, I can click into my TechSoup demo. And I have here, I have, you know, an entrepreneurship magazine. I have DevX news. I have something, you know, machine learning. And it's all, it's curating it as though it's one news source. Like if you go on to NPR or in New York Times. You can see everything at, at a glance. You can also, you know, those, that's if you know specifically. And some people, I think, struggle to identify new sources to get new insights. Um, and so one, I always recommend reaching out to your network and ask, you know, what are different sources that you could add? I also think this is focused on nonprofits. You can Google top nonprofit blogs to follow. Uh, TechSoup should be happy to know you guys have good SEO or, you know, to all show up here. And then it was fun to see. That canters when I Googled this as well, you know, you can come onto a website like this if you're looking for content to add to your feed rate. Um, and then I think, so I had the three R's for why I think, you know, building your thought leaders is important. So relationships, relevance, and getting recommendations. And then with Feedly, I only have one minute left. Yeah, you have to force your article, which we've done here. Then you sift through them. So what I like to do is right click on the ones that are interesting and relevant. And then I scan through them and then finally, so you're sifting, source, sift, and then finally share. So take a look at the article. You know, I open up three or four, maybe five at a time, set your timer, 15 minutes. And then I like to share them out on LinkedIn or Twitter, always tagging the author. And then if there are any other people within to continue to build your network, build your community of people. And so that's my speed geek session. I'm, I don't want to go over time here. I hope it's helpful and that you all will start your own Feedly boards. Thank you for having me.